Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew this afternoon. Nice sunny day outside. I'm going to enjoy the Fremont Summer Pale Ale, which is a pale ale by Fremont for summer. Though I thought that was kind of obvious. Anyways, this is a one pint, 5.2... ABV. It is not an India pale ale. It is a pale ale. So it's not going to be quite so dominantly hopped. Let's pour it out here. And see how it works. So what I'm seeing Almost a soda-like effervescence, so the bubbles might be a little bit smaller. Um, yellow. Hazy. With a thin, kind of a thin head. It smells juicy. Um, peaches. Peaches are kind of the dominant smell. But maybe also some raspberry, maybe? Some sort of, like, bright berry. Pineapple, some tropical fruit. What else? <laughs> hmm. Agitate it for more smell. Yeah, pineapple, a creaminess. Um, and peaches. Uh, a lot of really bright, like, summer fruit flavors. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Okay. So there's a, a woodiness to this. There's the tropical fruit flavor. So, while still not being an IPA, not being a... a strongly hopped beer. It's still hopped, um, and we're still getting some bugs. <laughs> we're still getting some, uh, some, some fruity flavors from that, but there's also kind of a, uh, a woodiness. It's more than just like grass and grain. It's, it's actually, uh, it feels more substantial than that. Um, nice malt character. I imagine as Fremont is is designing this beer, they are thinking they want to maximize the refreshment quality of the beer for warm days. Um, maybe even up to hot days. So on a hot day, I might want something a little with a little cleaner flavor. Uh, this has a little bit of a muddiness to it. It's not unpleasant. It's just it's not crisp. It's it's cool, that's good, but that's a temperature characteristic, not a flavor characteristic. And um, and it's more of a, a warm day rather than a scorcher beer. I let's see, if we were going to the park and the, the uh, forecast was for 85 degrees or under, yeah, this would be a good beer for that. Good stuff. I like that. This is a donated can. It is uh, maybe a little bit on the old side. Yeah, it was packaged uh, almost not quite a year ago. So it's last summer beer. <laughs> Meant to be drunk indoors. Yeah, whatever. I drank it all outside anyways. Without a mask on. <gasps> I dislike health theater. But politics aside, I do like this beer. It's a good beer. Fruity to the, fruity to the nose. Um, malty and hoppy to the tongue. So coming back here, because still drinking this summer pale ale by Fremont, 
and I had a realization. It's not just woody, it's it's um it's like lemon peel and citrus to the taste. And this beer reminds me of nothing so much as lemonade for grown-ups. Not lemonade spiked with vodka or some other similarly uncreative exposition of or amalgamation of the child drink plus an adult alcohol content, but a a lemonade like or character drink that's designed for adult, grown up, mature taste buds. Um, I like this more so than I did before. And yeah, it might even be a hot day beer. Not sure how it'll do yet. I mean, for like I like really hot. It's still it's still definitely a warm day beer. But but yeah, the Fremont Summer Pale Ale. It's like lemonade for grown-ups, not just alcoholic lemonade, but lemonade for grown-ups. Good stuff. So now back to the regular programming. And overall, quite tasty. This has been Fremont Brewings. Summer Pale Ale, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.